There are many unsolved mysteries in the world that continue to baffle researchers and puzzle the general public. Mysteries have a way of capturing our imaginations. Whether it's a missing person, an unsolved crime, or an unexplained phenomenon, there is something about the unknown that compels us to keep searching for answers. On the one hand, mysteries can ignite excitement and wonder in us, making us feel like there is so much more to life than we could possibly know. On the other hand, they can also provoke fear and anxiety, reminding us of how little control we have over the world around us. Either way, mysteries have a unique power to capture our attention and hold it for years to come, and that is why they will always be one of the most fascinating things about life. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be sharing three of the most puzzling unsolved mysteries of all time. The Works of the Old Men the ancient Middle Eastern people were masters of stone architecture. Their most famous works are the so-called works of the old men, which are stone structures that were built thousands of years ago and form geometric patterns. Discovered during the conflict of 1914 to 1918 by pilots in the air, these structures are some of the most impressive and intriguing examples of ancient architecture still standing today. Despite the magnificence of these structures, there are still many secrets that we do not know about them. For example, there are mysterious walls scattered across the landscape that archaeologists still do not know the meaning of. These works of old men demonstrate scientific geometric patterns and extend from a few tens of meters up to several kilometers, evoking parallels to the well-known system of geometric lines of Nazca, Peru. According to an archaeological team that recently published in the Journal of Archaeological Science, mysteriously, the works which are found from Syria to Jordan all the way to Yemen are difficult to detect from the ground. However, viewing them from the air reveals their geometric patterns. This is fascinating. Judging by the fact that the ancient men who created them were not able to travel by air at the time. Researchers say that the ancient men were not even able to climb to a higher elevation to view the design. That brings out the question, what was the purpose of the design if not for their own viewing experience? Another mystery about these works was just how old they actually are. Using the optically stimulated luminescence technique, archaeologists were able to date two wheels all the way back to 8,500 years ago. Mysteriously, these ancient designs also seem to have an astronomical influence as some of them were built to align with the winter solstice. Archaeologists found that one of the wheel clusters located in the Azraq oasis may align with the winter solstice sunrise. Despite this discovery, it's not been determined if the ancient men who designed the works were meant to align the wheels with the winter solstice or if it just happens to be an incredible coincidence. M.S. George Philippa The M.S. George Philippa was a French ocean liner that met a tragic fate on its maiden voyage. Prior to its first sailing on February 26, 1932, threats were made against the ship, but the crew forged on anyway. On the morning of May 16th, about five miles from the Horn of Africa, a fire broke out on a piece of electrical equipment. The crew quickly turned off the power on that section of the ship in hopes of minimizing the fire, but it was too late, and the fire began to spread rapidly throughout the ship. An order was given to abandon the ship and quickly launch the lifeboats to prevent them from being engulfed in fire. The situation grew desperate, and many passengers were reported to have jumped into the ocean to avoid the fire as they were being trapped in their cabins and unable to get to the lifeboats. Luckily, Many passengers on the MS George Philippa were rescued by neighboring ships that were able to respond quickly. The Russian tanker, Soviet Sky Neft, T and J Harrison's cargo ship contractor, and the Brockle Bank Lines cargo ship Masoud. The captain of the ship, Captain Vik, was reported to have been the last person to leave the ship, having stayed to ensure, to the best of his knowledge, that no one had remained. Unfortunately, however, 54 passengers had already perished. Although the sinking of the ship 
may seem like a cut and dry case. There are many mysteries that remain about this disaster and conspiracy theories that were started because of it. For example, many wonder about the threats that were made against the ship. In the year 1930, much of the world was consumed by conflict and politics, and some wondered if those threats were actually carried out or if it was just a coincidence. Some believe that the fire was started on the ship in order to cover up an assassination of a famous passenger, investigative journalist Abbott Londre. His next article was going to expose the Bolshevik interference in Chinese affairs, but his notes were destroyed in the fire. Even more strangely, he had confided in a couple on the ship, Mr. and Mrs. Langvilla, but they lost their lives two years later in a plane crash. There are some that believe there is more than meets the eye in the case of MS George Philippa. Perhaps it was more than just a fire and politics were involved. Or perhaps the disaster really was due to an overambitious design and human error, like so many maritime disasters before and after this ship. It looks like we will never know. The Disappearance of Dorothy Forstein The disappearing housewife seems to be a story that always invokes a lot of intrigue and emotion. A seemingly normal woman vanishing out of thin air is always unsettling. The case of Dorothy Forstein is no different. Dorothy was a respected woman in her neighborhood, a devoted mother of three, and the wife of a prominent man. Despite her idyllic life, on January 25, 1945, her fate took a dark turn. She was brutally attacked at the front steps of her own home and left with a concussion, broken jaw, broken nose and other injuries. She was left terrified from the incident and her husband, Jules, rarely left her home alone for the next four years. Sadly, the attack was not the worst thing to happen to her and her family as on October 18, 1949, she was taken from her home in the middle of the night the kidnapping having been witnessed by her young daughter, Marcy. There were few clues in this case and many questions. First, there were no fingerprints or other evidence left behind by the person. The police also wondered how the person had entered the house because the door was still locked from the inside. Seven years after her disappearance, Dorothy was declared officially deceased. To this day, more than 70 years after her disappearance, no one knows what truly happened to her. Unfortunately, there are more questions than answers in this case, and it looks like it's going to stay that way. Mysteries, like the ones mentioned, make us question what we know to be true. They can ignite debates or even arguments, as everyone will always have their own opinion. But what are your thoughts on these unsolved mysteries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.